Hi, I'm Lark Kirk, and welcome to Taste and See Home Dairy in Slainsville, West Virginia. Uh, we have um, guests here today, and we've put out a few things that are examples of what we make from our pure, pure fresh goat milk. This is our 100% fat-free goat milk. We use uh, mechanical cream separation, and we've tested it at a lab up in Maryland, Dairy One, and uh, we get 100% of the butter fat out. This is the whole goat milk, which is also delicious. Um, we have high protein, high butter fat milk, so even the skim tastes very um, rich and filling. This is our fresh yogurt, and this happens to be made with whole milk. Sometimes we make it with skim or part skim, although 100% skim, 100% fat-free yogurt is a little strange. It's not what most of us think about as yogurt. This is a whole milk ricotta, and uh, it's very easy to make. It's got um, flavoring in it with crushed rosemary, a little salt, and also goat butter. This is um, uh, a whole milk goat mozzarella, which is very good. My husband loves it on sandwiches. It slices well, even freezes well. This is a whole goat milk um, cheddar and it's a fresh curd type of version. It's my husband's favorite. It's very flavorful. This is um, fresh goat butter, hand worked. It's um, European cultured style butter. This happens to be unsalted, so if we want to taste it, I put some salt on the table. The unsalted is good for a lot of pro uh, products and a lot of baking, pastry and things. And this, I know, I apologize, it's a cow pitcher, but this is a little sample of goat cream. We have our separator set uh, pretty, pretty stiff, and we get about probably a 65 to 70 percent cream. So it's, it's thicker than whipping cream in the store. And of course, it does whip, but we tend to need to dilute it with a little bit of milk to whip it. If we try to whip it just as it comes out of the separator that strong, we end up with butter really quickly. <laughs> and here's our Easter egg or eggs, blue and green and pink, and sometimes a little bit brown. Uh, my name is Millie Kirk. And your name? My name is Abby Kirk. How big are the uh, goats whenever they're born? Uh, well, they range from about one and a half pounds to actually around five pounds. You can have quite a variable. What are they like when they're small like that? <laughs> well, actually, you can see the personality of the parents coming through. If the parents are skitterish or not very friendly, you can actually see that coming through. But as you bottle feed them, they all become friendly and people loving and docile and they're very nice. <laughs> she was born Tuesday, Tuesday morning, 1036. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <what? laughs> the little dark one wants to run. Yeah. Yes, boys do. How long until they're full grown? Well, actually the goats don't stop growing until they're three years old. Um, but they generally get almost as big as they're going to be by two. The others have spunky parents, and so they're being spunky. <laughs> well, it's very fun taking care of something and seeing new life be born and seeing the milk be produced and the cheese and being able to have the fun of putting into something and then getting back out of it and seeing your own work produce and seeing God's blessing on a project. Yes, Dad has built basically all of the structures you'll see around the farm, and Mom does the majority of the cheese the cheese manufacturer and work at our home dairy here. I mean, there are, there are hundreds of kinds of cheeses that can be made. Wow. And because of the properties of this milk, I would say that you probably could do, you could probably attempt most of the kinds of cheeses that exist. We, we, we wanted them small, and the Nigerians are almost always shown in the arms of little children. Right. And we wanted a really good flavored milk. There are a couple of kinds of goats that give a milk that's strong, that isn't like good for a table milk, mm -hmm. and we didn't want that. We wanted to do as much as possible with the milk. They give a very, very <laughs> Can't see his eyeball. <laughs> What other uh, animals do you have here at your home? Well, we have chickens. We have Easter egg chickens which lay 
green, blue eggs, and a couple pink ones, and they're very colorful themselves. So, oh. and then we have some old pets that we have a mixed breed called Prudence. Other uh, chickens, right? A barred rock named Yellow, little rooster Frederick, mm -hmm. and a light Brahmin named Daisy. So now you call him a capon? Yes, that's the word for it. Capon, C-A-P-O-N. It's the name for a neutered chicken. Uh, this is a capon. He actually has a name, Carlos, which he's probably not going to be eaten. But um, he's the last remaining guy we have from a project we did a couple years ago where my sister and I actually learned how to surgically caponize roosters, extra roosters, to make it's basically neutering chickens. That's what we learned how to do. And what it does is it helps them to grow large and heavy without having the toughness of a rooster. It's actually an ancient craft, but Carlos is left over from that and he is very heavy. I notice he has feathers on his feet, which is kind of different. Interesting. Yeah. How did that happen? Well, um, in our capon project, we were breeding for sex-linked chicks because you need to tell the males from the females at a young age in order to do their surgery at the right time, which is about five and a half weeks. And so we were breeding silver pattern females to gold colored males and we were using light brahmas for our silver pattern females and they have feathered feet. So he has semi feathered feet. And he's got very large uh, spurs. Spurs? Yes. Very he, large spurs, yeah, on, yes. on his feet. Even though he does not have the full strength of testosterone, he does have those spurs. He's a good age though too, that's why he has those. He's Probably three years old. Oh, that one has little horns or something. Huh? Yeah, we disbud them when they're. Oh, the oh. bucklings actually have to get disbudded when they're only about a day and a half, about two, two or three days actually. 